Welcome to our video on 8 Superfoods That Reduce Inflammation. In the vast landscape of nutrition and health, there are certain foods that stand tall, wearing the title of superfoods with pride. These aren't just ordinary sustenance options, they are powerhouses of nutrients that go above and beyond to promote wellness. Inflammation, our body's natural response to injury or infection, can become a silent adversary when it lingers longer than needed. Chronic inflammation is linked to numerous health concerns, from joint pain to heart disease. Thankfully, nature offers a delicious arsenal of foods adept at dousing these inflammatory fires. But before we dive in, make sure to ring that bell, hit that like button, and subscribe to our channel. We are here to help you improve your health and overall well-being. Now, are you ready to embark on a flavorful journey to a healthier you? Here are 8 superfoods that are not only a treat for your taste buds, but also warriors against inflammation. At number 8, shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms aren't just a delicious culinary delight, they're a treasure trove of health benefits. Now let's get nerdy for a second. Inflammation in the body is like that annoying alarm clock that won't snooze. It's often a sign that something's off. But here's where shiitake mushrooms become our trusty sidekick. A study published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition found that people who ate shiitake mushrooms daily for four weeks had improved immune markers and reduced inflammatory signals. Imagine that, just by having a handful of these mushrooms regularly. What gives shiitake mushrooms their inflammation-fighting power is a compound named beta-glucan. Beta-glucans interact with our immune system, specifically with the cells that regulate inflammation. Also, let's not forget the antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties of shiitake. It's like having a tiny security team inside each mushroom, guarding our body against unwanted intruders. Next on our list is number 7, almonds. Almonds have been popping up in our snack bowls and atop our desserts for eons, but there's so much more to these crunchy delights than meets the eye. First off, it's not just about the delicious crunch, it's what's inside that truly counts. These tiny powerhouses are loaded with vitamins, minerals, and most notably, antioxidants. When I say antioxidants, think of them as the valiant knights that defend our body from free radical damage. These free radicals? Well, they're like sneaky invaders causing chaos, oxidative stress, inside our system. Now imagine the inflammation in your body as a silent fire. You might not always see the flames, but the damage is ongoing. Free radicals play a significant role in fanning those flames. Thankfully, studies like one from the Journal of the American College of Nutrition have shown that the antioxidants in almonds, especially in their brown skins, are like fire extinguishers, combating that oxidative stress. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that the antioxidants are most concentrated in the brown layer of the skin? So, if you're going for blanched almonds, you might be missing out on the best part. And there's more. Almonds aren't just about antioxidants. They're packed with healthy fats, too. Moreover, a study published in the Journal of Nutrition found that almond consumption could reduce certain markers of inflammation in people with type 2 diabetes. Who knew that this bite-sized snack held so much power in fighting inflammation? Now, let's move on to number 6. Ginger, specifically, ginger tea. Ever sipped on a warm cup of ginger tea when you felt that nagging cold coming on or had an upset tummy? Ginger's been a darling in many households for ages, often used as a quick fix for various ailments. But hold on a minute. Beyond just soothing our digestive woes, did you know ginger tea has a lot more to offer, especially when it comes to inflammation? Yep. Inside that spicy, aromatic root are compounds like gingerol that come to our rescue. They're not just antioxidants, but they're also anti-inflammatory agents. Now here's the interesting bit. A 2018 review in Foods Journal elaborated on ginger's superpowers, highlighting its efficacy in not just reducing inflammation, but also in managing pain and disability associated with arthritis. Talk about a triple threat! Sure, gnawing on a piece of raw ginger might not be everyone's cup of tea, pun intended, but steeping it and sipping on its warm essence. That sounds way more tempting, right? 
So next time you brew a cup of ginger tea, remember, you're not just indulging in a comforting drink. You're tapping into an ancient remedy with some seriously modern benefits. Next on our countdown is number five, extra virgin olive oil. Ever noticed how almost every culinary expert gushes over this golden elixir, especially when they're whipping up a Mediterranean dish? It's not just because of the delicate flavor it imparts. Let's break it down a bit. Most of the goodness in extra virgin olive oil comes from a healthy fat called monounsaturated fat. And within that, there's this superstar called oleic acid. It makes up about 73% of the fat in olive oil. So why should you care about oleic acid? Because it's been tied to helping reduce inflammation in the body. Yep, there's actual research backing this up, showing it can decrease inflammatory markers like C-reactive proteins. Olive oil doesn't just stop at oleic acid, it's also packed with antioxidants. One of these, named oleocanthal, is pretty fascinating. Some scientists think it acts a bit like our everyday pain reliever, ibuprofen. How cool is that? And let's not forget the myriad of other health benefits. From supporting heart health to even aiding in cognitive function and battling symptoms of arthritis, extra virgin olive oil is like the Swiss army knife of the culinary world. Now, a quick pro tip. When shopping, look out specifically for extra virgin on the label. It's the good stuff. This variety retains most of the antioxidants and beneficial compounds from olives. So not only does it taste better, but it also brings all those awesome health benefits to the table, quite literally. Number four is a little powerhouse called curcumin. If you're into the world of spices, you might know that curcumin is found in turmeric, that bright yellow spice that often gives curry its vibrant hue. Now here's the kicker. Curcumin is pretty much like the superhero of the spice world. Its superpower? Major anti-inflammatory effects. Think about the way some superheroes can absorb or nullify other powers. Curcumin does something similar by hindering the production of prostaglandins, the bad guys responsible for inflammation. Curcumin also works as an antioxidant, guarding your body's cells from those notorious free radicals. Think of them as the mischief makers of the cellular world. And if you dive into some research, you'll discover that curcumin might even play a role in rallying other antioxidants to the cause. As if that wasn't enough, curcumin has a few more tricks up its sleeve. It can boost the brain-derived neurotrophic factor, essential for keeping our memories sharp and our learning abilities on point. Plus, it's got heart, literally, by helping reduce the risk of heart disease. Curcumin might also help in managing depressive disorders. And for those worried about the sands of time, it's got your back against age-related issues. Number three on our countdown is a superfood that's creating a buzz in the health food realm, spirulina. Ever heard of it? No, it's not a new dance move, but a blue-green algae with more health benefits than you can count on both hands. Let's break it down a bit. Spirulina is almost like the Swiss army knife of supplements. Why? Because it's loaded with some of the most crucial nutrients we need. From protein to a trio of B vitamins and essential minerals like copper and iron, spirulina pretty much ticks all the boxes. But here's where it really shines. It's anti-inflammatory and antioxidant qualities. The real MVP behind these attributes is a component called phycocyanin. Not only does it gift spirulina its enchanting blue-green shade, but it's also a fierce warrior against those pesky free radicals wreaking havoc in our bodies. And guess what else? It hits the brakes on the production of compounds that cause inflammation. Super cool, right? Now you might be thinking, all right, but what does that mean for me? Well, because of its composition and these super effects, spirulina steps up to the plate in areas like reducing bad cholesterol, helping keep that blood pressure in check, and even improving allergic reactions. Anemia? Spirulina's on it. Need help managing blood sugar? Spirulina's got your back. Want to amp up that muscle strength and endurance? Spirulina to the rescue. So if you're thinking of adding spirulina to your diet, you'll typically find it in its green powder form. Toss it into your morning smoothie, sprinkle it in your soup, or blend it in your sauces. Number two on our countdown are those green slices we love to put in our morning toast. The gorgeous avocado. Apart from being downright scrumptious, avocados pack a serious health punch. It's not just some fleeting trend. Avocados have earned their place in the superfood hall of fame. 
Sure, they're jam-packed with those good fats we all crave. But when you dive into that creamy flesh, you'll find a treasure trove of nutrients like folate, vitamin C, E, B5, B6, and even potassium. And here's a fun little trivia for your next dinner party. Avocados beat bananas in the potassium department. These green gems are bursting with antioxidants. You know, those trusty molecules that help keep inflammation at bay. Some say avocados are so mighty with these properties that they might even offset some of our, let's say, less than stellar dietary choices. Not that we're admitting anything. The mighty avocado flexes its muscles even further by potentially alleviating arthritis symptoms, supporting our weight loss journeys, and doing wonders for our hearts by reducing triglycerides and cholesterol levels. Now, a little whisper of caution here. While avocados are dreamy, moderation is key. Owing to their high fat content, even if it's the good kind, it might be wise to stick to a maximum of just one avocado per day. We've reached number one in our countdown, and for this, we'll be diving into the sea of nutrition and talk about fatty fish. Think salmon swimming upstream or mackerel dancing in the deep blue? And who can forget sardines? With this aquatic lineup, it's not just about tantalizing your taste buds. There's a world of health waiting in every bite. Nutrition gurus often sing praises about munching on three to six ounces of these fishy delights a couple of times a week. Why? Because they're teeming with benefits, especially omega-3 fatty acids which help reduce inflammation and bolster heart health. Omega-3s are kind of like bouncers for your body's inflammation club. They block the cyclooxygenase enzyme, cutting off the production of those pesky prostaglandin hormones, which are the usual culprits behind inflammation. Fun fact, this is pretty much the same way ibuprofen works, but with fatty fish, you're getting nature's remedy straight from the source. The accolades for these fish don't stop there. Dive into regular servings, and you could potentially safeguard yourself against heart attacks and strokes, give your brain a boost, uplift your mood, and even shield yourself from certain autoimmune diseases. And there's a whole sea, pun intended, of other perks. So next time you're pondering over what to have for dinner, let a succulent salmon steak or tantalizing sardine salad make a splash on your plate. With fatty fish, you're reeling in a whole lot of goodness. And that's a wrap. Eight magnificent superfoods that put the smackdown on inflammation. Was this eye-opening for you? Or is there a superfood superstar you think we missed? Don't be shy. Spill the beans in the comments. Oh, and a quick favor before you dash off. Smash that like button, give the bell a good ding, and don't forget to subscribe for more juicy tidbits like this. Thanks for watching, and here's to a healthy and happy day.